Hey everyone, it's Michael here from goodyreader.com. Well, we have a reason to be tremendously excited. Readmu is a company based in Taiwan. They have a series of e-readers and e-notes called Muink. And that's where a lot of people are familiar with that brand. They have you know, Chinese bookstores on all their devices, but they have English and they're very sideload friendly. Well, we have some amazing products from this company. The one I want to talk to you today is the Readmu V. This is an eight inch foldable e-reader with little to no crease using e-ink gallery three, which has undergone a ton of revisions to make this likely one of the best consumer products of 2025. Let's dive into it. So it will be touchscreen based. Will it, you know, it's foldable up to 180 degrees and 90 degrees. Aluminum magnesium alloy, the foldable crease when open is hardly noticeable. It's 300 PPI and has a frontlet display. I've been told that the e-ink gallery panel used this time has undergone the development of multiple new materials, stacking optimization, and passed 200,000 bending, bending tests. It took nine years to develop and reach mass production level. Of course, it could display 50,000 different colors, and this new tech has really increased page churn and device speed. What I find interesting is not only was this <clears throat> um, con made in conjunction with Readmu and e-ink, but the design firm that was responsible for the overall product design, it was produced by Kotak, Kotak, uh, from Sony Design Center in Japan. The lead designer won a Red Dot Award for his development of the Guido e-paper music score. If you remember on our channel, we've covered this extensively. It was a PDF dual screen 13.3 um, digital you know, music device compatible with foot pedals. It had a, like a music store built into it where you can buy sheet music, although this is discontinued a couple of years ago now and this store was shut down. But the lead developer developed this. So right now we don't really know price or availability because at this Touch Taiwan where they announced this, they had two new you know, basically just run in the mill um, e note and consumer grain e reader with both price tags and release dates. So, this was the third device that they had announced and has me obviously the most excited for, uh, of it. You know, nine years to develop is a long time. And if you're a follower of the channel, you know that. We have covered an e-ink foldable device through many iterations over the years. So e-ink has slowly been refining the foldable technology and has made, you know, all of the major tech news sites whenever it does make an appearance and has a new iteration. So Readmu and e-ink finally brought this to market. Hopefully this will herald in a golden age of foldable e-readers, whether they use Kaleido or there's typical black and white or using Gallery 3. So we do know that Gallery 3, it hasn't really hit critical mass yet. The Big Me Galley was the first. It used basically the first gen Gallery 3 panel. The Remarkable Paper Pro released at the tail end of 2024 basically used a more advanced form of Gallery 3. I, I was told really that it had undergone a huge revision. You can think of it as a Gallery 3.5 with the Remarkable. With for everything that I've been told about the Big Me, I'm sorry, the the Readmu Mu Inc V is that 
this might be gallery like 3.9. It, it's undergone a huge revision in terms of just the overall stacking technology and everything that goes into it. Not to mention a front light, uh, the elimination of blue light and things like that. So I'm very excited about this. What do you guys have to think? Drop a comment below and for goodybeater.com, my name is Michael and everybody take care.